what do we have here today? Could it be Chrysacala? Yes, it is. And look at that in all its beauty. Today, we're going to be talking about Chrysacala. And what is my favorite color? It just so happens to be teal. And guess what? Chrysacala is teal. And it's like the perfect shade of teal. And this is by far one of my favorite stones. You could look at this all day long. And hopefully the camera is going to pick up all the beautiful patterns, swirls. I mean, I could look at this all day. Look at it. It is absolutely stunning. And yeah, I do know I say that a lot about other crystals and minerals and everything, but just, just look at this. And normally I go for rough crystals, but Chrysocolla, now I'm not saying it's not beautiful rough. It is absolutely beautiful rough. But this is one of them where I would actually take a polished stone like this over a rough because I think Chrysocolla, when it's in its polished state, is just even more beautiful. Look at it. And it really makes it pop. Now, rough, still gorgeous, still beautiful. But when you polish it up and you get something like this out of it, it, it just really makes those colors pop. Absolutely fantastic. And another little trick while I'm thinking about it. You get a piece of rough chrysocolla like this. And now you can see all the beautiful teal colors popping out of this. If you soak this in mineral oil, holy smokes, it, it's going to bring out all those colors, those deep teal colors, all the patterns. I love using mineral oil on uh, stuff like this, where it, it, especially like in a rough state. Well, it kind of does need to be in a rough state. It's not going to do much on a, on a polished, but it just makes it explode with color and brings out all the patterns and everything. Mineral oil doesn't last forever, so it will end up fading after a while. But while I'm thinking about it, I just wanted to share that. So anyway, in terms of metaphysical properties, what does Chrysocolla do? Chrysocolla is a very peaceful, very peaceful stone. And it is very soothing. So peaceful, soothing, calming are the three words definitely associated with using chrysocolla and meditating with it. And the energies it gives off 100% are those three. Peaceful, soothing, calming. I could end the video right now because those are the three words this is all about. But I'm not. So, when to use it. This is a great stone when you're going through some stuff. Now, you're going through tough times. Something in your life happens where a breakup. Something very emotional is what I'm getting at. Something where, I hate to say, if somebody passes away, uh, somebody, you know, breaks up with you, you lose your job. Those type of situations where it's really going to smash you in the heart, in the gut, and just, on, it feels like the wind's knocked out of you. Those are the situations where you would want to reach for a piece of chrysocolla and work with it because it's very, very good during those difficult transitional times. And it's energy, again, it's not super powerful in terms of, you know, properties, but it's a very soothing energy and it helps to, it, let me see how I want to word this. It doesn't deflect negative energies or anything like that from you. When you're already stagnated with all the heartbreak and all that stuff and you need to release the energies which are 
when when you get hit with something like that, where a breakup, for example, your heart's broken, that's when you need this because it's going to release all those stuck emotions and all those that are clogging up your heart chakra. This is perfect for your heart chakra, perfect for your throat chakra. But you know what? It's great for all chakras, to be honest with you. And one thing about Chrysocala is it aligns all chakras, all of them, not just one, not just two, all of them, but it's specifically going to get in there and work with the heart chakra and throat chakra, but it's going to bust up all those stagnant energies in a way where it helps you get through it more with ease. It's more of a gentle release. It's not, you know, like I said, super powerful. It's not going to happen in one day, but it's definitely something you would want to work with consistently and it will definitely help. It's like a support stone. It's that's another good way to look at it. It's kind of like what's the emo emotional support animal where you bring on a plane or whatever. This is kind of your emotional support rock, Chrysocala. And honestly, it's perfect for that. That's the perfect way to sum it up. And any type of challenges where anytime you feel that overwhelming, just pain in your heart type of feeling, that's great for this. It's also great for anger, guilt, all those kind of things. When you're blaming yourself, it's going to gently bust that all up and get rid of it. And it, it replaces it with, Energies of forgiveness, of love and joy. That's what it's all about. Very peaceful, very soothing, and fantastic energies to work with. Um, I would definitely recommend cleansing it. Look at this one. Oh, my God. Woo! Look at that. Like, seriously, I could look at this all day. L look at the patterns on this. And hopefully this is really picking them up on this camera. Look at that. I mean, it's absolutely breathtaking. Now, this is a more expensive piece of Chrysocala that's in my personal collection that I'm not selling, but it's so beautiful in a polished state. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, honestly, I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. Just to sum it up, very peaceful. It's great for transitional times. Great for breakups, heartache, to calm those emotions and get rid of all that stagnant, just heartbreak energy and just to help you gently release all of that and replace it with the good stuff. Um, it's not going to happen overnight again, but definitely something I would reach for in those types of turmoil that you're going through. Very supporting, very supporting, just wonderful. Even the, even the rough side of this is still beautiful. I mean, like I said, teal, my favorite color, just amazing. It, one of the nicest teal stones ever and just beautiful. So that is about it. Oh, one other thing I would do, you don't have to cleanse it like constantly. It does have energy stick to it. I would cleanse it before you work with it every couple times. It's not imperative that you have to do it every single time you work with it, but eventually you, well, I would say every couple weeks or so, it depends on how often you work with it, uh, run it under the faucet and definitely get rid of all the energy stuck to it. But one more time, look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. That kind of looks like a, like a skull down there. It's cool how you could see all the, the patterns jumping out. But that is all I'm going to talk about with Chris Acala. Um, I do sell in my shop, CourtdaleCrossings.com. It'll take you to my Etsy shop. I do sell these guys, which are rough specimens. Uh, I believe this one too. But... The rough stuff. I don't think I have any polished stuff currently in my shop. But one other thing I do normally sell. I just, I don't think they're up there currently. It's, I wish I had a piece of that to show you. It's Chrysocala in a quartz matrix. And 
the entire thing is just quartz, but there's streaks of teal running through it. It is breathtaking. It is absolutely breathtaking. When the white background, all the teal just pops out, it looks like, I mean, it's just magical looking. Um, so definitely check that out if I have it currently. But I often do sell that kind as well. Absolutely wonderful to work with. It's great to um, use with other crystals as well. But I'll make some different videos on that kind of stuff too. But this is it, Chrysocolla. Definitely get yourself some. Definitely helps with all those stagnant emotions and turmoil you're going through. And releases fear and sadness and grief and all that stuff. So that's it for this week. I will see you guys next time. Bye.